Hey guys, it's Rebecca Verstad, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a like kind of full face get ready with me. I have to go to Walmart. It's about four o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to be testing out a few new products while I get ready. And I'm thinking about doing a fall kind of makeup look. I don't know. We'll see what happens. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Correct in the shade Dark Banana. Now, I got looking at the new Conceal and Hydrate in C2. It's like quite a bit lighter than the one that I already have. So I'm gonna use the one I currently have that is the one I thought was the shade that I was buying. This is an also C2, but this is the like original one. And this is a Conceal and Define. The other one is Conceal and Hydrate, and it's like a lot lighter. So I'm gonna put this on first because when this dries down, it dries down a little bit darker than my skin color which is what I kind of like. It looks about the same shade or just a little bit lighter than my natural skin color as it's wet, but when it dries down, it does darken about half a shade. that corrector is doing a really good job. So I'm not going to even use this. I am going to go into the new Cover FX powder that I got because I need to do flash testing on it. So I'm going to figure out how to pry it back open. It's got a little, little thing. I'm going to kind of whip the little sifter over the top of it. I want this to be kind of as realistic as possible for exactly how long it takes me to get ready from start to finish. And I will be speeding this up so that when you're watching this, it won't be at the time it is right now for me. And right now I'm at about four minutes. So it's taken me four minutes to get this far. blush this is in dazzled I have the shade party but this one looked a little bit more berry oh it's got a mirror in it well I'm gonna have to clean the mirror but... I find looking at mirrors further away from me instead of up close gives me a better idea of just how much blush I have on. I have a bad tendency to make one side darker than the other. And if I'm looking too close up, I have a tendency to put it all in like one cheek instead of you know, blending it around. This is also new. This is the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. I'm gonna start off with my Luxie brush. This is the 1010 Small Contour Brush. With it, half without it. I, I'm naturally dark there anyway, so bronzer doesn't really, it just kind of already enhances what I've got on my face because I have very high cheekbones and my face is hollow here. And I do this to pull this tight against my cheekbone. just kind of 
blend it all together. Uh, highlight. What do I want to do? I'm going to go into my State Cosmetics. doing a very fall inspired makeup look I'm gonna use the makeup revolution lipstick in shade vice and then I'm gonna put another shade with it this is a root beer float from NYX I think that's kind of pretty Okay, now on for eyeshadow. I'm gonna take the Love Signs palette from BH Cosmetics, and my battery's about to die. I'm in nine minutes right now. Um, I'm gonna be taking some of the warmer tones in here. I think I'm gonna start off with that Cancer shade, which is like a mustard color. Since we're at the 11 minute mark, I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera switch batteries and then get started again. I think I'm going to go into the Sagittarius shade here in the original palette. It's a little bit darker than the Virgo matte shade in the Love Signs. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoor forever free shade right here and put it on the outer lid it's kind of like a bronzy mustard shade to see the truth around you kind of giving me some grungy vibes and that palette's killing my hand <laughs> from a distance you can tell uh... and this brush is dry it's a fluffy beach number 103 brush. It's from their like golden eyes seven piece brush kit or something like that. Because the black ones that look like this are from their eye essentials brush kit and the other one is from another one that I bought. If you're curious about the brushes, I can leave them linked down below.
Alright, I think I'm going to go into the Leo shade in the Love Signs palette. And I'm just leaving the very front of my eye open. shimmer shade out of the original palette and put that on the very front. It's like a greenish yellowish gold shade and I'm going to do the inner corner with it as well. And to be in the great outdoors forever I'm gonna dust fallout and stuff off. If I can find my brush, and we'll be right back. Okay, now that I've got the shadows done, and the fallout situation, I'm going to press over the shadows with my finger like I usually do. And then smooth out the brow bone. And then I'm gonna take the brush that I used with that darker orange shade and just kind of blend. picking up a touch of that cancer matte shade from the Love Science palette to blend above that. Alright, now I'm going to do waterline liner really quick and then I'm going to do also, um, I'm going to do black liquid liner. I'm going to take my black liner and then put it on my waterline. And right now we're at 11 minutes again, just so you know. So, so far 22 minutes to get this far. side to the other just kind of fix it on the other side now for mascara yeah, I think I need a little bit more blush it looks like I don't have any on right now
the eye look is so dark and kind of grungy, which is exactly what I wanted. It's definitely fall. I think the blush just kind of got lost. And sometimes I don't mind going back and doing this step again, just because I know that when I get the rest of my face done, sometimes I need to add things here or there. But this is the finished look. Um, I'm at 15 minutes right now, and like I said, we were at 11 minutes before, so 26 minutes total for a full face. And again, I was talking through it, so, um, you know, five or six minutes, give or take, less to talking. If I was to just sit down and do all of this, I will zoom you in. Five here. And this eye is different than this eye, unfortunately. Um, this one, the brow bone is actually, if I do this, if you look, this brow bone is higher than this one. The eye on this side also is more hooded, so more of my eyelid is covered on this eye. So it's always going to look a little different. So do you notice that with your makeup looks? It's perfectly normal. Everybody has one eye that's different. So you're never going to have them identical. But this is my finished full face of Get Ready With Me to go to her shop at Walmart. Um, I'm loving this fall vibes. I was kind of mm, about that yellow shade when I first put it down, and then I put the orange, that orangey shade down, and I'm like, I'm kind of hating this. And then I put the shimmers on, I'm like, okay, I kind of like this. And I don't know if it's the orange in the center of my lid or the, the Pisces shade that I put on the inner part of my lid that kind of like made the eye look come alive but I'm really liking this look. And it's not something that I would normally do because I don't like warm toned eyeshadows on me, but I think it's pretty. So what do you guys think? Think I could pull off warm colors or the orange lip? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um, you can subscribe if you want, but every day I lose about 10 subscribers, so subscriptions really doesn't matter to me as long as I'm helping at least one person a day. That's all that matters to me. I would rather have your interactions in the comment sections down below, the thumbs up, those kinds of things are what I'm looking for for my channel. Um, and of course, if you view the whole thing, that's, you know, what I want. I want you to go from start to finish and watch the whole thing. I don't know when this will go up, but I do currently have two videos recorded that have giveaways in them. Uh, one of them just went live yesterday. So yeah, um, if the giveaways are still going on. I will leave them linked in the description box below, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.